Delta Bliss, Roger, Raider, service terminated. Uh, me. Uh, that's your volume, the big one? Yeah. Pretty cool. I'll, I'll have Medium golf, Lima Tango golf, climb in 10. 127.8. We'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone, welcome in uh, Phoenix Airline, but today we are with uh, Kyle Kirkwood for rendezvous with the drivers. Uh, so Kyle and my teammate Andretti, uh, I've called air traffic control to tell them to be quiet so we can talk to you. <laughs> back here at Squawk 1027. Uh, seems that it's not working. We should have been uh, interview and get to meet you and uh, I need to remember which question I'm supposed to ask you. <laughs> Kyle is an American driver from Florida, Jupiter. Uh, we are up here at 10,000. Um, I can't remember. You're from Jupiter, Florida. You're 24 years old. My teammate on Andretti. And what I know from you is that you had to win every you competed in, in the road to Indy, which you did. To make it yep. to IndyCar, that's his second season in IndyCar. First season was with. Uh, Delta, do have a minute. Give me a minute, guys. We need to copy a route. So we're back. Um, it's only the third routing that we have today, so I don't know, I don't know why I fire routes that they change it all the time. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> on every championship that you uh, competed in, uh, um, everything but IndyCar so far. Oh yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm lying. I didn't win Formula One, so. Uh, that's the one I didn't win, but anyway, uh, right, and uh, yeah, the idea is to get, to get to know you a little bit better. I know you love surfing, uh, I know you play golf, like every good Floridian uh, down here, um, but just tell me a little bit more about you. Um, my my entire life growing up as a kid was, was kind of in the water. Um, my family was never into racing. I was first generation in, into motorsports whatsoever. My dad got me and my Two older brothers. Uh, Five side Delta Roger, turn right, heading one six. Would have been two thousand two, two thousand two, I believe. I would have been uh, four years old at the time. And uh, but yeah, my lifestyle before. Five side Delta Travis, twelve o'clock, two five miles well, off the direction. B was heading on the water. Zero, zero. Um, as well as well as soccer, actually. That's, that's what my father, my older brother, did. Was my my dad was a professional soccer player here in the U.S. Um, he played for a team out of Dallas. And um, my brother was uh, getting ready to join with uh, Orlando City, and then he had having a, a major injury that that kept him from playing, so he he stopped from there. But um, but yeah, my my lifestyle away from the track is on the water. Um, I surf as many days as there's waves, and um, when there isn't waves, I'm I'm in the water diving, free, free diving, uh, fishing, what. what be when the water's clear enough to do so. Um, so yeah, that's that's really my lifestyle. Good. And uh, so yeah, you completed F4, and then you went the the road to Indy, which is in Europe what we call Formula 3, 4, Formula 3, Formula 2. Yep. Uh, but here, SF2000, Indy Pro, Indy Light, or no, Indy Next, and then. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So um, my my whole I, I I bounced back and forth a little bit, right? So I did. Uh, the F4 championship here in the U.S. for two years. I did it one year with a very low-level, small-budget team. Um, we did pretty decent. I think I finished thir third in the championship. Um, and that series had, it gets a pretty good turnout with the amount of cars that they have. The, um, and then the second year in it, um, I won, I think, nine out of 16 races or something like that. And then I stayed with the same team. That was Cape Motorsports into USF 2000, and I was able to win 12 of the 14 races there, and okay. uh, which was a, new, was, a, was a new record for USF 2000, that obviously every, every series here gives you a scholarship to move on, right? So I just raced off of scholarships always, and I had a scholarship to go from USF 2000 to Indy Pro 2000, to and then to Indy Lights, which is now Indy Next, and then to IndyCar. Um, but w while I was doing it, it was up to thousand, to um, I actually raced F3, but it was it was because I got a scholarship from F4 to run F3 um, in a Honda powered car, and uh, there was only I think a total of seven cars in the series, and we won 15. So for me, it was just really good seat time, and I was able to drive a ton of new tracks that I didn't get to learn. Okay, so you raced, uh, you got seat time. And did you ever thought about going to Europe or was not I, on, the, on the card? I did. Um, 
you know, when when you're here, there was a time where I was like, when I was in carding that I got offered to go run for energy, actually, um, and and be on the factory team over there. And I was 13 years old at the time and decided that it'd be better if I stayed here and stayed in school and then didn't uh, fully commit to something over there. And um, if I obviously don't regret that decision, but at the time it, it was a very tough decision to make because obviously. As a young driver, you want to be a factory driver on a karting team. I mean, that's that's amazing. And um, a lot comes from that. And uh, so I stayed over here. I raced for a karting team called Ocala Grand Prix, uh, which both me and Oliver Askew came up through. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, because you're a really good friend of Oliver, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Oliver lives in Tequesta, so he's only pretty much three miles away from me in a direct line. Okay. So. He's pretty funny. He's uh, he used to never really want to surf big waves because he's always nervous about, him, about getting hurt for, for, uh, in, in a race car or getting hurt surfing and obviously having issues inside a race car. Um, but I, I gave up skateboarding, right? Because I got hurt and I was like, oh, I'll just pick up surfing. Because he can't get that hurt in the water. And I've, I've never actually gotten injured from surfing. So, uh, I know it's uh, relatively safe and I, I don't push myself too far, but Oliver's now just getting into it to where he'll start surfing bigger waves with me. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame him. Bigger is better. Um, right, yeah. So, so, yeah, what about Europe? Who, uh, who would you compete you grew up in the old uh, yeah, Road to Indy? Uh, the Road to Indy. Uh -huh. You're a couple of old, uh, years older than Pato and Colton. Yeah. Came from it. And VK came the same time as them, right? Yeah. So I never, the, the only competitor that, because I went through it so fast, there's still drivers that I competed against still in the middle categories of it, right? So I just won consecutive years, and a lot of guys are doing two years at a time sort of thing. And, um, but David Malukas was my biggest competition in Indy Lights. He won, he won eight races, I won ten. It came down to the final race. Um, I just needed to finish like, in the top 11 um, to, to uh, seal the championship. And, um, and he, he went out there and won, and, and I had to finish 11th. I think, I think I finished fifth. But he was, uh, he's the only one that's now in IndyCar that, uh, that I had very close competition with. Uh, in the road to Indy. Okay, good. Uh, right, so yeah, David. David's doing a good job in IndyCar as yep. well. Uh, so then you jumped in with uh, Foyt for the first year, uh, replacing yep. Simbode. Uh, and then you race with Andretti in Indy Lights, or, or Indy Next, or Indy Lights. Or <laughs> what a Indy yeah, Lights by the time Indy Next now. <laughs> so, okay, so that's what, and, and you had that relationship. And the idea was to come with Andretti in, in IndyCar, right? Yeah, that that was the that was the original plan, right? So in twenty in twenty twenty one when I was when, oh, when I, was, I was getting ready to win the championship, um, there was obviously a lot of talk of Colton going over to to Europe and, and racing in F one. So that there there would have been a void that needed to be filled in, in the six car, um, which is why they put me in the car for three tests um, post twenty twenty one season. Is that, that was the most expected thing from the team. They were going to put me into that car, and Colton was going to move on to Europe. Um, obviously, that didn't happen, so I had to find a, a new route. And, and for me, that was um, that was AJ Foy Racing. And um, they, they put me on a, on a short-term contract, um, gave me really good opportunity, really good terms, and it gave me a spot to really learn, right? Because yep. it's it's low-pressure situation there. Um, they were extremely open to me about everything about the car, how they how they develop it. Um, that I need to look at um, as well as what they look at. So that that was actually um, a really good stepping stone for me. Going going with them for uh, for the season, then coming over to a powerhouse team like like the Autosport. Because if I would have just gotten thrown into the deep end, the Dreddy Autosport, it probably put, would have put a ton of pressure on me because. Obviously, being with a bigger team, but a lot more obligations for sponsors and stuff, and it doesn't really give you the time to, that you need as a rookie to learn. Uh, it's, it's kind of panned out very well for me. Which is good, and then you get to learn yeah, the other tracks, because in Indy Light, I mean, you, you learn a lot in Indy Light or Indy Next, because you do some track, but some of them you don't do. I mean, you don't do Long Beach, you don't do 
Which one? Tor uh, no, Tor Toronto? I don't know. We yeah, we don't do we don't do uh, we never did Long Beach. Uh, we never did Iowa. Okay. Uh, obviously Nashville. Yep. And I think all the other circuits and well and then the Speedway because they took away the free one. So they they changed. They uh they did indeed the Speedway. They they stopped and then they were thinking about coming back. Uh, but yeah, you got so you get Gateway as a learning oval. Uh, you're, you're talking about for Indy Lights, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. So Gateway was the only oval that we did. Okay. And um, in Indy Lights, so I guess uh, I take away Texas, Indianapolis Speedway, and Iowa. Uh, they now go both to Iowa and Gateway. So yeah, I, you basically have pretty much the same experience as I do on ovals. Uh, very, very little. And do you like them? Do you prefer road course, street course? What's your favorite? Uh, I, I, I prefer either street or road course. Um, uh, we're in the same boat. May, uh, maybe, same plane, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe, uh, maybe street courses over road courses. So, um, there's something about it, it. You know what it reminds me of is I don't know if you've ever done any of the bigger karting races like uh, for Super Nats, which is in uh, Vegas. Or the entire track. It's a temporary track, yeah. right? But it's a very big karting race, and there's walls everywhere, and that, that's kind of what it reminded me of, and I always did really good at that event, and I tend to do pretty solid at, at uh, street courses, too, in comparison to... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I prefer road course, just because I like to break so late. That when there's not a wall facing me, I feel better. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit more comforting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we have, we have such a good car in some beats that... Um, when it's like that, road course, street course is amazing. When the car is not there, it's just, it's just a challenge the whole weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're getting into the tricky question. You ready? Yeah, go for it. I have it. a list. I have a list. Is your, ba is your bed made right now? Uh, no. Oh. No way. Uh, uh, road, uh, yeah, uh, six five five really. We can uh, <laughs> cancel it out for now. All right, what's your guilty pleasure? Guil guilty pleasure? Uh, uh, like, a, like a food guilty pleasure? It can be anything. Uh, it can be shoe shopping, it can be candies, it can be red wine, it can be uh, anything. S surfboards are one of them. I mean, it's not really a, guil a guilty pleasure, but um, I always spend, I'm always buying different surfboards and I end up using a lot of them just because they look cool. And then I ride them and I'm like, uh, I don't really like them that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to teach me to surf. I can't, I can't, I can't want to one whiskey without so you climb the I cannot stand up for some reason. Uh, really? I'm going there back down and We'll figure it out. We'll get you going. Uh, Roger. Uh, what's, what's one of your nicknames? I don't know any uh, nicknames for you. I need to find you one. Uh, uh, one of my, I mean, the most commonly known one now is Kirk. Uh? Kirk Kirkwood. That's what everyone calls me now because there was an issue for about half the season last year on the on the big, big TVs where it says everyone's name that runs across the bottom. It said Kirk instead of Kyle. Kirk the, Kirkwood. Yeah, it's a Kirk Kirkwood. Okay. And people didn't realize or didn't post anything about it until like NDGP. I noticed it, um, but, but there was obviously a mistake. So everyone calls me that now. Uh, but my my nickname, growing growing up and and um, carding and carding, um, was always Woody. What? Woody. 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 Like like Woody. Woody. You know, like Toy Story. Woody. No, I'm too old for I'm sorry. I'm 10, 12 years old, so... Toy Story is from, like, the 90s. I remember 5 on Whiskey. I think the previous uh, controller... <laughs> I'm not that old. Uh, I'm not that old, but I'm not that old. But item is worth spending money on. Money Big on. top blame the same thing for you, sir. The mow is cold if you want to go direct to us. Anyway. What? What item? Item okay, we'll is worth spending like money on. I guess surfboard is your answer. Yeah. Yeah. Surfboards, I... I tried to justify. Um, well, food, <laughs> food is is one thing that I, that I uh, always try and justify. All right. You, you only live once, and eating good meals is very very important. I agree. I'm French. I cannot agree <laughs> more anymore. Um, what's if you could afford afford any car, which one would you drive? Uh, uh Pagani. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a nice one. Go for. Yeah. Uh, what's the last craft you made? Craft? Craft. You don't have kids, so you don't make most of those, yeah, no. but... What is the last craft I made? Maybe Ikea. 
maybe a shelf. Ah, I, I had to build uh, a bunch of stuff from my apartment from Ikea. And, and there and you go. In, in Indianapolis, because I moved into an apartment at the uh, beginning yeah. of this year. Uh, your celebrity crush. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Ma Margot Robbie. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, have you got any phobia? Any any phobia? Yeah. Uh, you know I I I get claustrophobia. Uh, Over six nine Sierra contact approach one two five point two. Good day. So, and actually, I, two, two, good day. there was a, a period of time last year that I'd get very claustrophobic inside the Indy car oh, because nice. because of the aero screen, right? Yeah. And you come to a stop, and all the heat soak would come in, and because you're strapped in, you can't move, you can't see out. Um, it, it would cause some issues for me last year where I just need to get fans on me. Um, I think a lot of that had to do that I was wearing all black in, yeah, in a matter. black car. Um, so this year I've, I've not had any issues whatsoever. Okay, what's your favorite rainy day activity? Uh, oh, good day. Rainy day activity? Um, I mean, we don't have much in Florida, so you can skip that one. What, much rain? Yeah. Well, we, we just get about rain for about five minutes. Yeah. 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 Nine or five, eight, six, five, maintaining four thousand. Everyone knows that I'm. Yeah, nine or five, eight, six, five, summer first. Good morning, Nelson. It's three zero two four. You do traffic twelve o'clock, five miles, indicating five thousand seven hundred. Here's the eastbound type of That's that's all I've got. Where's your happy place? Okay, eight six five is looking for traffic. Thank you. All right, and last one. What's your favorite word? Favorite word. That's a tricky one. Uh, f favorite word, oversteer. Oh, oh yeah. use that. <laughs> All right. Over oversteer is better than understeer. Oh, I, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. All right, we have got 500 nautical miles to get to the fuel pump. Uh, thanks for doing that. Of course. I kept us busy for a while. Uh, we'll see you guys when we land in Texas where the weather may not be the best, but it could be for arrival, which is going to be quite nice. See you in a bit.